in order to better understand the border and what it was like back then, clearly it's in the headlines today with the debate over the wall. But what was it like in 1916? What could we, what would we have seen if we traveled to that area? So on the U.S. side, you would find a remarkably safe border, considering that there was a very large war going on right on the other side. Much of the Mexican Revolution, many of the major battles do take place right over the border in northern Mexico, so in Chihuahua in the north. Uh, many of the revolutionary leaders end up being from Sonora, which is also in the north. So the north of Mexico is a very dangerous place, and there are many refugees coming over the border at that time to escape the fighting in northern Mexico. But on the U.S. side, there actually are not that many attacks considering the danger and the longstanding conflict that happens very, very close by to American soil. So there's the Columbus, New Mexico raid. Uh, ten civilians are killed in that raid. Eight soldiers are before the Mexican expedition is sent into northern Mexico uh, to essentially try to capture and kill Pancho Villa in retribution for the loss of life at Columbus. Uh, there's a raid that happens also in May, a little bit after that, so 1916, in a smaller town, also pretty close by to Columbus. Uh, but there aren't really a whole lot of other raids that happen around that time. There are some shots that sometimes make it into Mexico, that make it into the U.S., but it is actually uh, shockingly safe considering the scale of the conflict. And yet, do you find it ironic that a century later, a different type of conflict, but still some of the same issues? Yeah, it's definitely interesting that we're having a lot of the same issues today. Of course, the border is a very different place. At that time, too, there was no border fence. Obviously, there was no border wall. The border was relatively open. You could just walk across in most places. There are even some places in El Paso and other towns where they had bars uh, straddling the border, so you could walk into the bar on one side and drink on the other side of the border. So it's really very open to back and forth travel between the two countries.